shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand what up y'all in today's video i'm going to be talking about the six reasons why i believe 35 millimeters is the best and most versatile focal length to shoot with so if you guys are ready let's dive right into it reason number one the 35 millimeter focal length is excellent for travel and street photography i feel like 35 mil is just the perfect field of view it's not too wide not too tight it's just right and at the same time it's wide enough for you to be able to fit every everything all the important aspects of the ambiance the environment that you need that makes the scene um, the scene itself and for street photography when you're out running and gunning 35 mil is going to be able to encapsulate the contextual information about that location that makes uh, the scene unique like compared to a 20 mil or something tighter like an 85 or 200 i'd say anything below 24 mil is going to be more specialized anything above 70 mil again is going to be kind of specialized okay guys reason number two why 35 mil is such a great focal length is because it's awesome for environmental portraits oftentimes when you think of portrait photography if you're taking headshots full body mid body half body um, people think of 50 mil or the classical portrait focal length which would be 85 and people like those because it doesn't really warp the body it doesn't have any of those bending lines and the composition is just straight and kind of accurate to the human uh, level of perception prior to me purchasing the 35 uh, 1.4 g master i was also considering a 24 but i did feel that i already had the 20 mil f 1.8 g lens and i felt like that covered all of my wider compositions what it came down to was that for portraits when i was really like analyzing my my work portraits i've done with 24 and portraits with 35 i feel like although you can get really creative with a, a 24 i i felt like oftentimes a subject kind of blended in with the background a little bit too much with the 35 mil it it has enough separation and it's tighter to the point where the subject uh, really starts to pop out while still being kind of immersed at the same time in the environment. So you're still getting the, that rich environmental information and context in your shot while having a main subject. Whereas 24, everything would kind of be one scene. And of course, you could also close focus with your 24 mil but sometimes it would be hard to really compose the shot because at that point you'd get a lot of distortion and warping in the photo all right guys reason number three why 35 mil is such a great focal length is because you can do close focusing and get very detailed b-roll so for those of you who you know maybe like to take pictures of your food or you're doing product photography videography the 35 mil specifically the sony uh f 1.4 g master is a perfect lens for that i feel like not only can you do you know wider compositions but you can close focus up to a very close uh distance so you don't have to be so far back and you can't really get that uh, you know kind of separation and that creative look you're going for you can really get up in there and move around um to compose your shot so for example, if I'm out eating a meal and you know my food is looking pretty aesthetic and I want a shot of that, I don't have to like stand so far back to get a close range shot. Like I feel like if you had a 50 mil or 85, you can't really close focus uh, onto the food. It's not, it doesn't have like that macro kind of capability to it. But the 35 1.4 G Master, you can still get up and close up close and personal and get a super detailed shot even at 1.4. Reason number four why I love the 35 millimeter focal length is because it's great for landscape and nature. So obviously, look, it's not gonna be as wide as a 14 or a 20, but again, it's wide enough to capture the essence of what you're trying to uh, portray, what you're trying to convey in your image. So whether that's some, um, you know, architecture, whether that's like a set of mountains, a field, the ocean, a sunset, 
um I've, i still feel like 35 mil is great for establishing the scene and again it's not going to be as wide as 24 or 16 but for me i just love it it's it's very it's it's picturesque without the warping or distortion so 35 again it's so versatile you can get up close you can go wide to capture the entire scene and if it's not wide enough guys just take a few steps back and you should be good so reason number five why i love the 35 millimeter focal length is because like i mentioned earlier you get a wide field of view without the warping and distortion though so like if you're not into that fisheye look this could be the perfect wide angle lens for you i think 24 and below you are most definitely going to have some bending distortion and warping in the frame so for me even if i were to get up close to do a headshot um close detailed portraits i would not get any warping on my subject so this was uh, perfect in those situations reason number six guys it is the most versatile focal length again you can go from portraits landscape street photography nature architecture you can do it all with this lens macro to some extent and for me it excels it kind of that mid-range so 35 is just kind of like the sweet spot you can you can almost do it all with with that one focal length and like if i had to choose one again you ha really have to think about it because if you had one focal length and say you picked a like a 14 mil you would not be able to get like very detailed shots of much i mean you'd get a lot of distortion maybe if all you're into is astro then that could be up to you now listen everyone's favorite focal length is going to be different you really have to understand what you you guys the viewers like to shoot on and the best way to figure that out is just to get out there and shoot and for me 35 is just perfect and what i also love about it uh, just shooting on prime lenses in general is that you have to move around you have to move around and it's more engaging your your mind body your tech your senses they're all working in, in synergy to try to get the shot whereas if you had a zoom lens you could stand in one place change the focal length zoom in zoom out to get you know whatever you want now don't get me wrong that's great for speed and accuracy but for character for specialization for you know that unique crispness sharpness of shooting on a prime it's unmatched i want to finish this video off by saying who should not get a 35 millimeter um number one people who like to shoot distant subjects in detail so like if you're out shooting in the city for example and you see a building further away and you really want that compression and you want to really punch in the 35 mil is not going to be for you 35 mil is going to be great for your immediate surroundings so for capturing scenes for establishing where you are i think 35 is perfect but if you want to get something that like is a far-reaching mountain or you know object out in the distance 35 is not going to be for you the second type of person who should not get the 35 mil is if you frequently shoot in tight spaces like if you're if you're in a bind for space you're probably gonna want 24 or, or a little bit wider because 35 is already uh significantly more punched in than the 20 mil and the last type of person that i thought should not get a 35 mil is if you're like a vlogger selfie style uh shooter like predominantly kind of doing talking head uh vlog style shoots at arm's length even if you're holding out a tripod uh with the camera 35 is still going to be pretty punched in and then you're just going to get a frame with with your face in it uh it's not going to be really pleasing for the viewer so yeah guys um that's my talk today about what i feel is the best focal length uh where i am in my current photography journey uh, of course things can change and i will be sure to update you 
if uh, my thoughts and feelings change towards the 35 mil. So thanks everybody so much for watching and all your support for this channel. See you all in the next one. Peace out.